Hello guys, I'm Mark and today I want to talk about a new version of Vectonator. They just updated this great free software to version 4.8.2 and add totally new tools. So that's great when they add new features and tools to our free software. So take a look, here's the patch note. As you can see, this is the new version released just last week and there's offset tool now. So we got offset path option in Vectonator plus auto trace improvement, something we are still missing in Affinity Designer. So they improve on that and add few little tweaks and add-ons related to colors. So let me just show you everything they add inside the program itself. So here we are in Vectonator for desktop for Mac. And now when I select shape tool, I got pre-made shapes to select. In the past, you only see the slider and it was really confusing for new users. So now by default, I actually see different shapes. So that's a little improvement for beginners, more beginner friendly shape tool. So that's great. But that's not the main feature of this update. So let's explore offset tool. That's the biggest star for this update. So it's here in the inspector panel, you must search for path. Open this group and you will see this very new offset option. If I click on that, I will have a slider and I can create a new shape based on the existing one and I can make it larger or smaller by using this slider. I click create and I got totally new shape. So he add additional shape based on the offset option I set up. That's really, really handy and very smooth. The tool is great. All right, what else is new? So offset tool is a big news, but there are some smaller changes. So if I go to the fill and go to the panel section, now we got some pre-made palettes here. So we got some color palettes that are already here in the program from the start. We don't need to create palettes from scratch all the time. So we can use some of those pre-made one and we can also make palette based on image. Take a look, this is very new from Ford or from picture. So now you can create a color palette from picture and use that in Vectonator. Very, very handy little feature here. All right, so there's also something they add, but not during this update, but previously, but I didn't cover that. So I will mention right now. You see layer panel here. We got our layers, right? We, if I add more shapes, they will appear in the layer one. So I got objects in layer one, all nice. But as you can see now at the top, we got also artboards. So I can actually draw a new artboard next to existing workspace. And I will have artboard, if I click just once, same size. And this is very, very similar to what we can do in Affinity Designer. So they decide to go with the similar path. And I really like it that I can have multiple artboards here in the layer panel directly. Of course, I can draw artboards in different sizes. So I got three different artboards in one project right now. You can resize them later. That's really nice. You got artboard, inside artboard you got layers and inside layers you got your objects. I'm really excited to see how Vectonator grow and add new feature month by month and slowly becoming some kind of Inkscape for Mac OS. All right guys, thank you for today and I will see you in my next video. Bye.